Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be teaching you about the JavaScript target dot event. So make yourself comfortable, relax, and enjoy the show. If you're right here on my VS Code, I have a simple HTML code. Inside here, I have a div with class name of outer, and I have another div inside it, inside it a class name with a class name of uh, inner. Then I have a button with the class name of my button. Then if you look at here, I've used the uh, CSS to style my uh, my HTML code. It's just a very simple um, stuff here. If you go to my screen, I have, this is what I have here. I have this div inside the div. This is the outer div. Then this is the, this is the inner, uh, the inner div. And this is the button itself. Okay. So now what I'm going to be showing you is when you click this, when you click this and uh, what happens, you, I know you'll be asking, what is this JavaScript event dot target? JavaScript event dot target is a property in JavaScript that represents the element which triggered a particular event. What it means that when you click this, what happens? Like when you see, look at this now. Let me go back to my code. I'll simply come to my JavaScript. I'll just say this. Dot. So when this is the button, they have just targeted the button. I've uh, targeted the button using the uh, get element by ID. This is the button. If you come here, this is the name of the um, but this is the ID of the button here so i'll come here and i'll simply say button dot add event listener then the event is click here and when i click this what happens so i go to my if i come here again i will say if i click this if you look at this it console log the event it console logged the the target that's the element so this is what happened this is what we mean by the target dot event if you click this look at it console log this okay so now how do you handle this? What happened is this. If you come here now, we have gotten this button. Uh, we, have, we have used the get element by ID to get this button. We have added this uh, add event list. Now we have added this event to it and passed a function, a, a callback function into it. And when you pass this callback function into it, the callback function receives an argument which it receives, it receives this parameter, the event parameter. Okay, so I uh, remember you can call this, this stuff anything. Uh, okay, let's call it E here. You can call it anything let's call it e and then i'll just say e it, this e represent the event it represents that event object that is being received so if i console log this look it's going to show us if i click this now it's going to show us that event so now inside this object this is an object that event is an object inside it will have a lot of properties inside it but our main target here is the um event dot uh, target look at it here inside the target we also have uh, a lot of stuff in there look at it Look at it, we have a lot of things inside it. So we can just quickly say E. Uh, I think we should call this event to be more specific. Let's call it event so that it doesn't confuse anybody. So I'll just say event. Event dot target. Okay, let's console log and see what you get. So if you say event dot target, you see now, I think I need to refresh this stuff. If I do this, look at it, it's cons it console log that particular element, which is the button. Okay, so now you'll be asking why do I need to understand this? If you come to this place, um let me show you something. Uh I want to check something. So look at it, you can also target the event. If you want to get the particular ID of that uh element, you can say the event, the uh, the ID name. If you look at it, it has, that button has the ID of my button. Okay, so if you console log it, it will give you that particular button. It will give you that particular ID of that button. Okay, so now there's another thing I want to show you. I think it, this is simple. Okay, this is simple to know, but there's a there's uh, uh where this is very very important. If you come to this place now, let's assume you want to target this. Uh, there's something we we'll call uh, if um the propagation. So if you come here now, let me show you. Let me comment this out. Oh, uh, now this is our other um uh, button. Let's say we want to target that and do. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'll just simply uh, copy this out again, just make it to be very quick. I'll change the name. I'll just change the name here, okay, to make it to be very fast. So now we have this back here, okay, we have this um, outer dot div. So if I console log, I want to show you something. I want to show you about the uh, event propagation. And if you want to really learn about the event propagation, that's where I'll have the uh, event bubbling and the event capturing. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit, uh, leave a comment by next week i'm sure i'll produce a video on event propagation you really need to learn it in case you, if you're handling in fact anything about the dom you need to learn about the event so if i come here again now let me show you something if i click this 
you are i'm trying to um console the event if i click this now remember that we are targeting that we are what we are targeting that outer div look this after we are targeting this outer div here okay but if i click that remember we are targeting this outer div but if i click this button you see something is, is going to console all that stuff there you see it's going to, something is going to happen. If, if i click this button if i click the outer div also it's going to console and if, even if i click this uh outer div and the inner div anything you click within here will, will console all that event and this is what we call the event propagation okay so now now that we are targeting the outer div if you click this inside one this is what you call by event bubbling event bubbling please make sure you subscribe to my channel by next week i'll leave a video i'll drop a video about the uh event propagation where we'll talk about the event bubbling and event, uh, event capturing so if you click if i click this now it's going to bubble down to the tree it will bubble through the dumb tree what it means it will send send a signal down from this inner one to the outer one down to the uh, parent uh, element this is what we mean by the event um uh, bubbling so event capturing now as well is when you target this inner one and you come and click from outside it it captures from outside that's what we call by that what we mean by the capture so by next week make sure you leave a comment then i'll know that you really need to learn about the uh the propagation then i'll drop a video on it so if i come here again now let me show you something now that we have this if, if you want to confirm which element remember what the target does is to 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 identify the element that is being clicked it's it's identified the element where the event happens so how do we now find out which of this element where the event is happening because if you click any of this it still console log this all but here you cannot you can notice that we are targeting the outer div so how do we find out you can say if you come here now say event dot target event dot target is going to show us the particular one now that is being clicked look at it so you look at it and as well if you still click, if i click this again it it shows me this outer div outer if i click the inner one, let me clean up if i click the inner one it will still show, it will show me the inner one okay then if i click this this will happen so what if like you want to really be sure that maybe you want to make a statement or you want to make use of this stuff and say i want only when this button is clicked you don't want to like once if any of this is clear something will happen okay you want a signature you want only when this happens so what you're going to do you you know that you you just uh let me say you just call me and say something like um you could say you can just write an if statement and say event if event dot target uh is it cost to um let's say is it cost to uh you target any of this let's say the button or the the, the inner no if it's equals to outer let me say if it's equals to outer you say let's something like let's let's console all this you now say um you now console all the outer okay you just console all the outer so when i come here you see now if I, let me reload this if you see if i if i click this button nothing happens it doesn't uh, uh, unnecessarily console log what you don't need you see this is why this event dot target you are targeting that you want to make sure that is this particular element that is being clicked so you see, you see nothing happens there you want to make sure that this is what is really nothing but if you click that outer one something happens it that's when it console log that stuff you look at it but if i click here nothing happens you see why it's very very important to know you see nothing happens but if i click here something happens so as well you can also say um let's say if it's uh um let's say uh if it's s you can see use the s statement and say if is um let me just copy this to save us uh, and i will say if it's equals to button okay i'll just console log that button i'll just console log that button again so if i come here now and if i let me reload this so if i come if i click this in this one now with the name the class the idea of my inner this inner div nothing happens but if i click this it console log that button see this is why it's important to target the exact button exact element you want to make use of if i click this it's console log that outer button outer div okay so this is why the event the target event is very important to know that as well you can also target the uh event or target name and other property you can say the target name you can get the target name or get the let me put there you can also get the ids and the class name okay so if i click this now you see it will show div 
if i click this one it will show button so this is the target name you can also do many more things with the uh event property okay so guys if you enjoy what i'm doing if you want to support my channel make sure you leave a comment like and most important subscribe to the channel this is a very simple way to encourage my channel to produce more videos okay thank you guys